How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzzy. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Sunday. And it would have been said, what's going to people? Hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. In this world, we're living in knocking down doors and making your dreams come true. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about something now. This has always been a question that's been brought to me. Raven, would you date a trans man now? In case you know what that means, that means they were born biologically female, did transition to male. They didn't feel comfortable with the body they was in. They always felt like they were men, and they transitioned to the right body. As far as if every two-spirit man has a story, I don't know. It's no rules. Nobody transitioned the same way. Everybody has a different meaning when they transition and stuff. So that's just the idea of what I'm talking about right about it. Just get a rough draft of, you know. Okay, this is it. I've always been asked what I did a two-spirit man, um, a trans man and stuff, being a two-spirit woman. This is the thing. I try to find out if I could or couldn't. And this is the thing I don't think a lot of people understand. When you're dating the true spirit man, he is a man. So he's going to think like a cis man. Now, I think a lot of times the girls feel like when you're a two spirit woman, you date a two spirit man because you feel as though, you know, you don't have to go through all the explaining, all the problems and the hurting and the pain. He understands what you're going through. You understand what he's going through and it kind of, you know, break the gap and stuff. But the thing about it is, some cis men, excuse me, some two-spirit men cheat just like cis men. Now, I know you say, well, all people cheat, they want to cheat, which is, which is true, because mother lives. But the thing about it is, when you're dealing with that man, you're dealing with the man. And I'm not saying that, you know, two-spirit women don't cheat, because at the end of the day, people going to do what they want to do. At the end of the day, it is what it is. But I think a lot of y'all think that if you mess with a two-spirit man, he's not going to cheat, he's going to be faithful, he's going to look out for you. You know, you got that thing, if he's like me, I understand what I'm going through, he's going to be a good person. And you really have to interview them the same way you have to interview, you know, a um, cis man. Now, a lot of times people say, well, no, no street men is going to be with y'all. You know, you two-spirit women, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, they're fucking us. Whether you acknowledge or not, they're fucking us, they're paying for our bodies, they're paying for a lot more shit than you think. And most of y'all don't realize it because your man is basically using your income and him to help fund our bodies. I'm not saying all men cheat, I'm not saying that's what comes because I mean that like us. Because that is true, he's not going to go through the rest of his life as far as being scared. You know, but it is what it is. And another thing was when you're dealing with a trans men, some trans men do not like for you to try to enter him as far as his vajayjay. -jay. He wants to be treated as a man. I mean, he may strap on or he may be an oral player and stuff like that. And I'm not saying there's rules to this because he goes through this thing the same way the two spirit goes through their thing. You have to talk to him and find out what he's into, how he likes to, you know, sexually get down when it comes down to that. Because he may be the kind of person that do that don't want to be penetrated. I mean, in other words, the two spirit woman going inside of his body and hit that cootie cat. <laughs> he may not like that. So at that point, you know how y'all be drinking and stuff and all of a sudden y'all have sex and you know you get drunk and you decide to go up in that. At that point he may feel like you just raped him because you knew that that's how he was and even though he may say do it because he's fucked up and you fucked up. At that point he may flip up on you and say you know you raped me because I told you you know that's not what I'm into. Now, at that point, it could create a problem. Now, I'm not saying all two-spirit men will feel that way, but there is options that you need to address when you, these type of things come out. You know, if you want to date a uh, um, two-spirit man, that can flip it on you. And I just think it's a lot of great areas that is not being discussed and talked about. Now, there are two-spirit men that likes to get penetrated, and he wants to date a two-spirit woman because he wants her to go inside of him. Him. He wants you to be able to use your man meat, your man meat, 
to go up in him and get him. And it's also been a question like a lot of um, women for women have told me, Reagan, I don't understand. How do you want to be a trans man? He's here that you still get a dick. And this is coming from women for women. Women for women. That means when I say women for women. Women for women, that means women that only date women. And they have a problem with trans men who want to be penetrated. In other words, get the pee bug inside his cootie cat. You know. So they have a problem with this. I don't understand it. And it's always been a jest to me. It's like, oh, if I was a, a man, you know, I could be with you, right, baby? Yes, you could be with you as a man. But not a trans man. Now, I'm not saying I won't be in one. I still like men. Um, and not saying he's less of a man and stuff like that. But I like what I like. Just like you like what you like. And, you know. And I have no problem with that. I'm not going to say I'm never going to be with one. Because at the end of the day, I did have cootie cat. Which means my first person I was with was a female. So I understand what the JJ feels like. And all our fabulous it feels. But at the end of the day, if a man walks to that fucking door... I'm like, excuse me, girl, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm in the bathroom with him going, hello, stranger. He said, what the hell? <laughs> because it is what it is. And I mean, I can't stop what I like. You know what I mean? But I just think it's a lot of things that people need to consider when they're thinking about dating a trans man. That at the end of the day, he thinks like a man. And the same way a man can flip up, he can flip up as well. You never know. You never know, so I always say before you jump into that grab as far as being with him and stuff, make sure you have the conversation. The same thing you did with the gay man with the gay man or the straight man with the two-spirit woman, you have to have the conversation with him because he may not want that being penetrated. He may not want to go inside of him. He may feel as though once y'all got drunk and even though he was there and he was getting his life, he may make up the next day and say, you rape me. So that's something you really need to think about. And I'm not saying it's just the bull smoke at your ass. I heard this story happen. I'm gonna put no names up there, but it has happened when a trans woman has sex with a trans man and he cried rape. And at the end of the day, rape is rape. And you have that conversation before y'all get fucked up and drunk and stuff like that. Now you're in a situation where you, you know, it's not consensual anymore. So now you have a problem, and um, it's something to really think about, you know. So. The conversation is always open and stuff like that. And of course, anybody can just cry rape whenever they want to. But when it comes to a trans man, I always think that's, that option is really, like, really thin. You know what I mean? Because it's like, he knows what he is. And some trans men do love sex. Some trans men, you know, they like to get, you know, a lot of things. They're like anybody else. So the conversation is very much importantly needed when you have not going to be with a trans man, a two-spirit man, because at the end of the day, he thinks like a man. And even though he may do a lot of things as far as being who he is, and sometimes I think a lot of times we're looking at him, we're saying, well, you're a two-spirit man because you're so damn. Because one thing we notice that the two-spirit man is they fine as hell, they look good as hell, they look very tasty, they look good. And some trans men can't stand trans women. They can't stand them. They think the most disgusting thing walking on the earth. But at the end of the day, like I said before, you have to have the conversation. You have to have the conversation when you have to talk to them and have a conversation. Listen, if me and you got drunk and fucked up, we had sex and I went inside you, how would it be? Because a lot of times people get fucked up and start experimenting. A lot of straight men has gotten his, his, his booty hole dug out by a two-spirit woman. But at the end of the day, he's going to go back. He's be like, yes, mother, you gave it to me last night, girl. Oh, girl, I was feeling fabulous. That's when you got to get rid of it because... He's going to be your competition at the next goddamn ballroom scene. <laughs> He's like, yes, bitch. He's like, oh my God, they did a good job. <laughs> so, you know, but then men are more freaky. I'm not saying trans men are not freaky, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a great era when it comes to sex with people these days, especially this Me Too movement. You don't even want to give them a hug or just go, hi. Like, you know, you want to shake them. You don't want to shake their fucking hand. You're like, what's up? What's up, though? You know? Because it's like, it's so much of a fucking great area now that men can't even give girls compliment. Oh my God, you said something about my body. That's sexual harassment. So now at the end of the day, bitches gonna be buying dildos and stick around. Get up. And ain't nothing like a man, honey. Nothing like a girl, strong man. That ain't a ladybug, honey. Because mother loves a man. Anyway, I just wanted to be back in this. And did you think that the trans man thinks like a man and at the end of the day, he's made cheat on you too? Slap the shit out of you? Beat you the fuck up? At the end of the day, I, did, I saw a video of a trans man and trans woman fighting. He was beating the shit out of her. And both sometimes are just mentally hurt and stuff. And they use self-medicated drugs to get through the day. And they, if you're the kind of person to get high and fucked up, 
whether you're gay, trans, straight, whatever the case may be, you have liquor and bomb in your relationship, there is a possibility I'm in the benefits fight. I'm just saying. It's not an LGBT thing. It's a thing of, you know, it is what it is in reality. Yeah, but anyway, you know, but that's just the risk you take. You know, you got to be the relationship. You know, just hopefully your partner is very much on the up and up and stuff because, you know, you're dealing with two spirit people at the same time. And also, you know, y'all both on them hormones and depression and a lot of, you know, things that's going on within y'all both that this may not be a good thing, you know. So it's just something to think about. Anyway, I love you if you're back. And as you think about that, and when it comes down to the spirit, man, that one day y'all may get high and stuff and all of a sudden you go inside of him and stuff. Because some of them don't want that. They want to be the man. That's why they try to become a man, not to be getting penetrated. So the conversation is definitely needed if you want to date, you know, two spirit men and stuff like that. Let me ask myself, I don't know if I ever would date one. I have trust issues and stuff like that, and that Me Too movement, and people raping people, and, you know, you get mad at me and stuff, and, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you as of the Sunday, and of course I want you to be back in this. And like I said before, subscribe to my channel, and also at the top there's an Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back, and I'll let you know I love you, and thank you for watching. Get the rain. Alright now, yeah. come on baby, let's go on Instagram. Ooh. Like I said before, if you have a story you need to cover, email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. Don't worry, everything you send to me be confidential. And please do not put your comments in the bottom when you have a story you need to share. Please send it to ravenoveryahoo.com. Also, at the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Did you subscribe yet? Oh, come on, man. It's part of my channel. Love you. Love you.